when I was a kid, I used to really like the Brian Ferry cover, cover albums that came out um, because um, I, I imagined you know, what that inspired him. And the other good thing about it was it opened me up to a lot more music. You know, I didn't know the original versions of, of a lot of the songs that he chose. And I went out and discovered them after his records. Time in my life. I did it at home. Just, uh, I've just got a really small studio set up at home. It's not like a big, you know, old-fashioned recording studio. It's just a, like a home setup. Um, but I think it was important for me to do that because, uh, you know, I, I like the idea of, of working at home because it means I still have some sort of family life. You know, if, if I'd have spent seven or eight months of last year in a studio working, you know, stupid studio hours, then. I, you know, I wouldn't have seen my family for that whole period. And I cast a lonesome shadow on these lonely, lonely walls. I don't really like doing straight cover versions. You know, it's it's uh, often a case of trying to reinvent the songs, taking them in different directions. But obviously, they still have to work. They still have to have some spirit of the original. Something that you like about the original still has to be there in the new invented version. And that's sometimes not the easiest thing. Sometimes there's a lot of uh, experimentation. There is a, a conflict of interest uh, for me to write songs for myself while I'm part of a band. Um, you know, I'm not the, the most prolific of songwriters. So it's, there's, there's a, at the moment, there's a, usually a three or four year period between the Pesh Mode records. So if I you know, wrote songs for myself and used them on an album for myself, um, you know, that, that uh, gap between the Pesh Mode albums would, would uh, grow even longer. Firstly, it, it was just a song that, that uh, from my youth. You know, I, I wasn't ever a, a massive David Essex fan, but I liked a, uh, a few of his tracks. And Stardust was one of them, and probably my favorite one. And it, you know, it's also from the film Stardust, which uh, you know, is, a, is a film about the demise of a, of a, a rock star and how he, he gets heavily involved in drugs. Um, which was pointed out to me it had some kind of parallels with Depeche Mode, but that's not the reason why I chose it. It does sum up somehow the, the loneliness of, of being a, a rock star at times. You know, of course, it's a great job, but it's it's uh, it's a very strange job. It's very weird. I really, really liked it. Like, I think it's very um, sounds like a soundtrack to me. Like, it immediately makes you think of imagery, and it's very um, dark and sad and kind of. Falling apart. Roll on up, won't you come and take a look at me? Oh. It seems like it's trying to express the, uh, you know, the, the loneliness of, of the, the rock star. You know, I think that's what it's trying to do. And then that's intercut with girls dancing in suits. 